Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? This is your girl, Crunk Girl 7-Eleven. The famous hoodie on. I'm going to get ready to go to work in about 20 minutes. So I'm going to try to do this video and get it over with. But i got to give y'all my reactions to um <clears throat> the new Metal Gear Solid uh, 5 trailer that came out yesterday. Um, I actually did an article in it. Um, article on it is going to be in the description. I stayed up till like 6 this morning doing a little article because... Actually, no, I don't. I miss shit. Usually, when they reveal shit, I be at work. So, just like they did Battlefield 4, I'm gonna give y'all my impressions of that too, because that shit was hot. Right. Um, my my initial impressions of Metal Gear Solid 5, the trailer, it was fucking epic. The trailer was very, very well done. Um, basically, what they did was you can tell if you already had seen the trailers for Ground Zero and the trailers for um Phantom Pain. Which was like one was for the uh, one they they dropped at the VGAs in 2012, and one they dropped at the 25th anniversary of Metal Gear Solid, the event in Japan. They put a trailer out for both games, and we were thinking that the games were separate, but they aren't. They're one entity. They're like two games put in one, and, and two, both of the games equals Metal Gear Solid 5. Um, <clears throat> so basically, those were like teasers, trying to tease us into thinking that they were two games and they weren't. They were one game. Um. But my my initial thoughts was the game was fucking good. Um, and of course we all know it was running on P high end PCs. Of course we know this. But Metal Gear Solid games look good, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Console is on. Like when it was on PS3, it looked great. Like that was when and that game came out. Shit, like 07 maybe. I can't remember when Metal Gear Solid 4 came out. But that shit is still, in my opinion, it's still one of the best looking games for PS3. And it's been so long ago since that game came out. And it still set a benchmark for how games should look on a PS3. When it comes to Uncharted, the, um, the God of Wars, all that shit. Met fucking Metal Gear Solid 4 was that game where that shit looked fucking good. Um, but pretty much, I'm going to read all some stuff that I found. Um... After the the 17, uh, they did a 17 minute trailer for Battlefield 4 the other day. Uh, Kujama, he dropped like a, I think it was like maybe six minute, seven minute um, video. Um, and then um, he, he dropped it the, because there were two separate joints. We thought there were two separate games, but no, they combined. Um, basically, Ground Zero side of the plot will take place approximately 10 days after Peace Walker. Um, and the Phantom Pain will be nine years after um, events of Ground Zero story, after Big Boss falls into nine-year coma. So basically, Big Boss wake up, and it's been nine years. And he don't know where the hell he at, what happened. He just don't know shit. Um, it started a game, um, but, and for y'all who don't know, they showed this reveal at GDC. Um, uh, basically, they've gotten two huge reveals this week. And, Sony been trying to show the ass too, because they've been showing mad P PS Vita games. They got like 25 Vita games there. They're indie, like indie developed games that look actually look very good. Um, I, I might just do a video on that too, because I did an article on it. They got a lot of it's a lot of games coming to the PSN. A lot of games come to the Vita this year. A shitload of games. Um, but um, basically the um the event is after like you said nine years after that when he wakes up he's like in this coma state where he doesn't know how to walk or nothing that and the people that like if you see in the trailer people are trying to kill him and he's trying to get out of there um when he awakens he awakens in the hospital beside some guy named ishmael um the figure that's the phantom pain whose face is covering all the bandages and shit um the game will feature a new uh, a new organization known as the Diamond Dogs, uh, under the command of Big Boss and Miller, as they go against the mysterious organization known as XOF, whoever they are. Um, Kojima did the demo, and of course the demo was on PC, like I said. Um, gameplay, it showed at the gameplay tutorial stages, um, Snake can't walk or move like he usually does due to the, um, the coma state. Um, after Snake escapes the hospital, he regains mobility, and that's when Metal Gear Solid 5 will be the first game in the series to ever be open world. That's like that opens up a thousand possibilities for this game. Um, um, like I said, the game was running on PC, but um, they were they were using this new Fox engine that they're trying to show off, and the engine looks incredible. Um, the actual trailer it does show 360 in the PS3 logos, but no Wii U and no other next generation consoles. So I don't know 
if they're bumping, I had a feeling this wasn't going to be on the Wii U. It's still in its early stages. Developers are scared of the hardware like they were the PS3, and they don't know enough about it, I feel, to actually do a game on it. That's why the Wii U is getting a lot of older ports. You know what I'm saying? But I'm uh, if I find out anything, I'm update y'all on further details when they come when they become available. But this game looks awesome. Um, I like the plot twist. So if you've played other games, this should be no problem of you figuring out where it is in the story. Because Metal Gear Solid has always been a uh, a series where you can get lost very quickly if you don't know what the fuck is going on. If you haven't played the games, you need to go back and play them before Metal Gear Solid 5 comes out. So you know exactly what the hell is going on. Because when I played Metal Gear Solid 4, I was a little bit lost. Even though I beat 3 on my PS2. Because that shit, I think in my opinion, Metal Gear Solid 3 was like one of the best games in the series. And that was just my opinion. I liked the whole aspect of killing snakes and killing stuff. And having to eat and doing all this extra, like extra shit. But yeah. Um, I give I'll give the reveal of <coughs> probably her A. <coughs> Excuse me, but the re the reveal trailer made me want it even more. Like that trailer was epic, and it was running on PC, so I still can imagine how it looks on consoles. Cause y'all know Metal Gear Solid games don't they don't back down from pushing the graphics on the PS3 or 360, and I feel like pushing on the PS3 is gonna be epic because. Beyond Two Souls is is going to be a great game on a PS3. Last of Us, great. And I think since it's at the end of its life cycle, I still think the PS3 got at least two more years in it. They're going to push the shit out of this hardware um, until they can't push that shit no more. So, um, anyway, this is your girl, Chrome Girl 7 Let me know what y'all think about Metal Gear Solid, Fan the Phantom Pain. The reveal trailer is going to be down here with my article that y'all read that. Um, and I think whatever comes out from GDC, if anything else comes out this week, I'm going to let y'all know. And Battlefield 4 Impressions is coming too this week, probably tomorrow. So I'm going to holler at y'all. Deuces.